Welcome to Carswell's Customs. I'm going to go over the installation of a Moroso catch can or air oil separator. I needed this to be installed on my uh, 2017 charger uh, because I installed a supercharger and it pressurized the engine which forced oil up through my PVC system and back into my supercharger. So um, I would sit overnight and start it up in the morning and be a huge puff of smoke uh, blowing out the tailpipe. So I'm going to go ahead and install this and it did uh, solve that issue. It vented that uh, pressure to the atmosphere and keeps the oil inside the tank. So it's good stuff. So here we are under the driver's side front where the stock air box used to be. And I'm going to go ahead and I, d I drill two holes here into the frame. And you see I ran a uh, rib nut in this side and then I'm going to run another rib nut over here and that's so I can take this guy install it in here and it'll be tucked up out of the way I can still drain it easy and I can run my vent lines up and out of here so love these rib nuts I'm going to show you how these things work these things are awesome so when you buy the kit Riv nut kit. You get these little riv nuts and the, uh, the tool here to, to uh, crush these rivets in. And they're threaded uh, like rivets. And so you, once you crush these into sheet metal, it becomes a um, like a nut inside the sheet metal and you're able to thread in um, accessories or whatever. These are great for running fuel lines through um, down a frame or down a unibody. I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to try to do this one handed here. But you'll see that there's like a little screw part on there. And so we're going to run that screw part into the riv nut and thread this in. This will probably be easier one-handed. So I went ahead and uh, threaded the rib nut onto the tool here. And I just press it into the hole and then take both hands and we'll squeeze this thing and that will crush that rib nut and then it will make a interference fit into the frame and I'll have a second point to, uh, to mount my little oil catch can. All right, there it is, looking looking pretty good in the mock-up here. Let's see if we can get some light under here. There we go. Yep, there's where the rib nuts have been installed with the frame, and there we go. That should get her done. So you can see the Holly High Ram intake has two PVC ports on it. And so I used a brass half inch Y fitting and tied them both in together and I routed the hose, this half inch fuel line, one line over here, now you can see it, and then one that goes into the catch can and then you can see if I move my feet the other side of the catch can port is uh, is capped off, so positive pressure will come through that hose and uh, find its way to that filter. That pressure will get released to the atmosphere. Oil stays in the can, and everybody's happy. I don't have to smoke anybody out when I uh, when I start the vehicle. So <laughs> it was a uh, good buy, good product, and it worked and did what it needed to do. So there you go. Go get one.